tree. It's not real good. Hey, 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 guys. This is Hawkeye, and uh, Dulakab is on here with me. We are in Riverbend. This is Dulakab's home away from home. He's worked hard on it. I don't know if uh, how many of you guys have seen the episodes. You need to go back and see it. I will put a link at the bottom of this video. Anyway, guys, we're going to do a tour here, but first I got to find my way there. <laughs> so, hey, how you doing? I'm hanging in there. Um, so, uh, let's see, F3. Yeah, um, let's see here. Anywhere, anywhere in the minus 250s right in there for the X and uh, minus 300s for the Y. If you give me your location. Um, I'm not I'm very far, actually. Well, I think you may have spawned actually at the place that I spawned. Did Was there a cliff right in front of you? Uh, no, no, there's a bunny. Uh, no, there's, a um, like right in the middle of a, a conifer forest. Okay. Let's see, I am, oh, that's a big hole. Big, big hole. Yeah, there's a few of them around here. Um, let's see, I am, it is going down, so I'm headed your way. Yeah. First I gotta get out of the river here. <laughs> yeah, I'm here in a, a sunflower plains, and uh, if I go basically right to the very center of my little settlement here, it's minus 270, and the Z is minus 350. Yeah, I'm headed the right way. It's just gonna take me a take me a few minutes. It's um, okay. It's noon. I was making sure. We... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh but, shoot, uh, is it close to nighttime? Because I have nothing to protect myself. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I was looking, gonna look and see if I got any saddles, because I've got a couple of horses, and I'd I'd jump on one and put the other one on the lead, and we'd come meet you with the horse. But odds are, by the time I found the saddles, <laughs> so so River Bend here was a started out as a, a hardcore let's play, and once I got to a certain point on it. I just I loved it so much that I didn't want to take the risk of losing it, so I went through the process of changing it to regular Minecraft, and I played it for the longest time, and went and found a village and did some stuff, and then just uh, with with some struggles going on with a family member with an illness and just having to budget my time, and since a certain friend of mine who shall remain nameless got me addicted to Seven Days to Die, <laughs> I ended up not. Uh, doing much more play and so um, I was in the process of, of checking into what what you can do with Minecraft realms because I just did a, a mod pack for Bunny and Z and I possum called Crittercraft MC and I wanted to see if I could make it work in realms so that they could play together unfortunately it's not possible but in the process I decided well now that I, I had a realm that I might as well do something with it so I uploaded Riverbend and tonight when me and Hawk got together, I thought, hey, you know, yeah, how, you how many times Hawk has said, oh, yeah, it's too bad it's not multiplayer. Not really. So. It is now. It yeah. is now. Whereabouts oh. are you? Well, right now I'm in the middle of a river, and there's, like, hills all around me, so I'm trying to get up okay. the. Well, I was, I was asking what your, what your uh, oh, X was. Yeah. Uh, minus 88, minus 104. I'm not very far. Yep, yeah, you're getting closer now. Okay, I'm trying to get, uh, get the dirt out of the way there. Okay. Um, yeah, at this distance, I'm surprised I almost can't see it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm. it's starting to open up here now. I All think right, I so might be getting to Plains. Yeah. You're actually southeast of me. Yep. Yeah, so you're you're coming over you're coming over the, the snow tops. I found a whole bunch of horses and donkeys. Yep. Yep, you're getting close now. You'll okay. be you'll be coming in on, on the side the, basically the corner where, where my garden is. Okay. Wow. I, I forgot you had all those horses nearby. Oh yeah. It's been a while since I've you know, there's there's one of your structures, I see it. Ooh, there's a white horse here. Yep. Yep, there's a whole bunch of horses here and mules. Man. Yep, there you are. I see you off in the distance. Yep, I'm coming. 
Well, if that's a piece of dirt. <laughs> Good to see you, bud. All right, we made it. Like your shinies. Oh yeah, yeah. I got lots of shinies. If we, if you decide to hang and play, I can hook you up with all kinds of shinies. Oh, cool. I mean, but uh, yeah, there's there's all kinds of horses around. So this here is the the back side of, of my infinity garden. Oh yeah. Oh and yeah. We'll have to that. have to come around this corner here to get on inside. Oh, this looks a lot better in person. <laughs> it does. And, and kind of the opposite of me. I look a lot worse in person. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hot. Sorry. All right. That's all right. So welcome to River Bend. I guess first, why don't we uh, step on into the garden here? All right. Um, I built this garden with the intent that I wanted a person standing in the garden to look and kind of feel almost like they're looking off into a dense forest. It does look like that. Are you uh, running John Smith? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Well, then, all right, so we're seeing the same thing. Yeah. But, yeah, I've, I've still got to get my blue orchids up top. But until I can get myself a silk touch pick so I can get a grass block up there to get some grass going, right now I, I don't have them up there, so I've got them planted here. But, yeah. um, and probably the last time you saw my place, I had not yet finished the monastery. That's right. Yeah, you were in the process. Well, welcome to the monastery. I haven't moved the villagers yet. Oh, wow. But the monastery is done. That's awesome. Damn. Go head on in or around or whatever you want to do. Coolness. Whoa. <laughs> Start going. Now you still... So since I have so many clerics, basically the idea is that each one of these alcoves is going to hold a cleric. Okay. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of bookcases in here, of course, because this is supposed to be the library down below. Right. And then up above is their living quarters. Like their cells, as they call yep. them, and that's exactly what they are. Yep. Um. So, so in here, this this is going to be their kitchen area. Ah. This is be like their dining room, their kitchen. Awesome. And then there are individual dorms on either side for the clerics themselves. Well, this is actually pretty nice. Usually, well, that's more that one here would be more like what I'd expect. Yeah. They're yeah. Just... The, so basically, this is like a, a abbot's chamber here. Yeah. And there's one on on either side. You know, really high ceilings, and then I um, wow. kept them kept them open on either side. But yeah. so there's a, a abbot's chamber on both sides, and then there's a, a basically a dorm for the monks on each side. Right. And then there's a, a doorway that goes out, you know, onto the, the actual balcony out here. Oh, nice. I like the glass. Yeah, so you can get a nice, nice overlook. How you, uh, um, do you, are you going to need help getting those guys over here, you think? Oh, yeah, I haven't even begun to contemplate how I'm going to move my villagers. <laughs> normally, normally I do the whole set up a, set up a bunch of fences. You know, yeah. and and just encourage them along the fences, but that was that was kind of where I was moving towards when uh, when everything kind of came to a pause. Yeah. So down over on this end, this is this is my tree farm. Here's the acacia I brought back from my last outbound journey. And these are my two volunteer horses. They actually were here when I built, and they stayed. <laughs> they didn't despawn, huh? Nope. Here. and there I tamed them so that they'd stay oh okay but uh, you know I I was using the John Smith texture pack and the the blacksmiths and a bunch of them were female so they were I called them the Smythe sisters mm. and there were three of them and right. one was a tool smith and, and so on and I set up Smythe sisters uh, you know blacksmith shop so yeah. this is this is for the tool sister where I was gonna you know d display tools cool and have her in here, and then in here was going to be the the main smithy. Oh, this is nice. You got to get like yep. a block of that. Uh, oh, you already have it in there. You just haven't lit it. Yep. Yeah, I don't have it lit. And I was going to put an anvil in and stuff. And then over here for the smite sister who does armor. Nice. Yeah. But there's only one small problem. What's that? With the 1.9 John Smith texture pack, they're not just females anymore. <laughs> oh no! So I'm gonna have to change it to the Smythe Brothers. 
but uh, and then uh, <laughs> this is this is my standard setup for a chicken coop. It's done in such a way that if you just do a lap around it, you pick up all the eggs without ever having ever open it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, they breed so. fast too. Oh without, yeah. Without your yeah. help. I found that yeah, out. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> And then, of course, we've got uh, the piggies and the sheepies. Oh, yeah. And uh, my cows. Then then I've got my, my horses. Unfortunately, my mule, Mo, gave up the ghost. Oh, really? What happened? Yep. Yeah. Um, so I had, I had a water trough that I built in. And basically what I did is I built it wrong and Mo glitched into a wall and died. Oh, jeez. I didn't know if a creeper took him out. Seems like that's yeah. what usually gets me for the horse. Yep. Yeah my uh, horses or the creepers and then of course uh, there's Gilligan and Ginger my two golems but I'm only seeing one golem where's my other golem that's strange I wonder what happened to the other one mm. I had Gilligan and Ginger and yeah they can't get inside I know that yeah I don't think I don't think but yeah so these were the Smythe sisters but they've had a little change of heart <laughs> well they got beards now yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. All of a sudden, they got black hair and beards. They went from blonde females to, to dark-haired males. <laughs> and now it's uh, some of the other villagers, like the butchers and stuff, that are female. Well, this one is even the wearing pink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she got glasses. They're the librarians. <laughs> I guess they and just... so, you know, I had, I had all the clerics and the librarians, and they were all male. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and we're kind of the classic Minecraft uh, testificate, and now instead they're they're all female. The clerics are still male. But then, you know, we've got got the upstairs here where I've got some more of them tucked away. But all oh, wow. these with the with the pink and the glasses, they're librarians now, looking like that. And they used to be the the clerics with the green robes. And so. <laughs> I had built a, a habit, you know, a, a, a place for, for a monk and a bunch of abbots, and now they're all a bunch of girls, so, like, all their sex has changed, and oh. now everything I did is kind of backwards. <laughs> yeah. Kind so the Smythe sisters are now the Smythe brothers, and instead of being a, a monastery for monks, I guess it'll have to be a, a well, nunnery. <laughs> convent, yeah. 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 Oh, well. But here we go. Here's the Squatch Lodge. Nice and big. Yeah. And here is where I keep my stuff stored and I've got my enchantment table. Ah, yeah. Oh, cool. And What's in the... Yeah. Uh, oh, it's the your books and yep. stuff. Yep, that's all the various books that I've done, but this uh, chest over here next to the crafting table, if you take a look in, in, in there... All right. Almost oh, everything nice. in there I caught fishing. Good God. Fire I haven't protection. built my, uh, my fishing hole yet. Well, that's good. I'll tell you, there's there's something that uh, is going to be a trick in Skyblock. Making a fishing hole, it can be done, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a matter of coming up with the water, really, I would imagine. It is, yeah. So I think you got to have, have three blocks in a straight line. But then this is my little kitchen here. Not much going on in here, but... It's my little kitchen, and nice. then that door over there is just like a space under the stairs with a window so I can look out and see what's going on with the monastery. Oh, cool. In, in here. Too bad you can't uh, let um, possum loose in here for decorating. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to do is I was going to invite uh, Bunny and Possum to my realm, and I was going to see if I could hire them to decorate for me. So they they yeah. they make it look really awesome. Yeah, they make it look really easy because this yeah. is the extent of of my decorating here. <laughs> oh yeah, this is about the way I decorate. I mean, I'm I if I start putting those little things on the edges there to make a chair, I'm really getting fancy, you know. Oh yeah, same same same. <laughs> yeah. So and yeah, I, my brother-in-law and all them they come they came up with. All kinds of things like that too, like yeah. Chester drawers and all this other stuff, and filing cabinets. <laughs> and like, how the hell do you do that? Yeah. Where do well, you come up with these the ideas? 
Ah, puppies. Yeah. So we got Goldie and Violet and Blue and Rosie and, and Slick. slick. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what was with the Slick? <laughs> Pretty good at the name, just... Yeah, because he was Slick. He's slick. He, he's the one who, who showed himself to have the most personality and was always getting into trouble every time I turned around. So he's slick, huh? So he's slick, yep. I see. Yeah, all the other ones are, are named for the colors of their collars, of course, just to keep it easy. So Goldie, you know, has a gold collar and Violet has a violet collar and blue mm -hmm. and and of course Rosie, Rosie is, is uh named named after our friend Rose from the Cyberdog server. Oh yeah. Yeah. But uh I couldn't exactly call him orange. So I had to call him something, so I called him Slick. <laughs> slick, <laughs> slick yeah. works. Yeah. But then last here for the place, come on up to the garden. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. These vines look awesome. Yeah. But so this is eventually where all my orchids are going to go. But until I uh, get myself put together with, with a uh, silk touch pick so I can get some actual grass in here. Right now, I've just got tulips in here. Yeah. Yeah, it takes but, too long to make the grass grow along a line. Yeah. And a little love seed over here so you can sit and smooch with your sweetie pie. <laughs> Even behind the vines, I like that. Yep. And a little waterfall, but... I'm surprised you haven't found a silk touch with all the things you've caught. That's well, odd. you know, that's... You know, with all the enchanting that I've done and all the fishing that I've done, I sure expected to have a silk touch by now, but... But so, I, it doesn't look like a whole lot when you, you know considering how long I played but doing this all myself and gathering materials and everything of course that, that took a long time oh, and I there know. was so much landscaping I had to do but follow me down the well when we get okay so if you look at me see the direction yeah. I'm oriented yeah that's the direction you have to turn for the exit okay you, you should see it clearly enough there's a, a jack-o-lantern but just so you, you know for sure so you don't drown all right, there we go. Whoa, <laughs> went too far. Yeah. So. Oh man. This is. Th I had to put all these blocks that are up above. I had to put them all in manually because it was only one layer thick, and I kept falling through, which was not a good thing when I was playing hardcore. Oh uh, no. <laughs> and you know, here of course is is my nether portal, but then uh, down this way, this goes across and opens up into a ravine that's on the other side of the river. Yeah. Okay, where, where, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I like my little spot here, and it's certainly got a huge amount of potential, and I'd, I'd be mighty happy to have somebody else here just because, you know, it's kind of interrupted. But this, this here goes down to my mind. Yeah. Well, that's cool. <laughs> And I've pulled a lot of stone, of course, for buildings, so it can be a little confusing. Yeah, I get lost easy. I mean, of course, this is nowhere near as bad as my nephew's. My gosh, he's just, he was like all over the place. I'm like, you sure you know where you're going? <laughs> yeah. But then this goes off into, uh, this actually breaks into a cave system over here. Yeah. Where I pull all my obsidian and that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. But there's a awesome big old cave over here, and a creeper. Wow, there's all kinds of company down here. I was gonna say I have nothing. <laughs> oh, I've got my infinity flame bow, so I'm not worried. Hold on, just a second. Thank you.